Welcome to another episode of Modern Bok. Thank you for joining me. So today I want to cover some of uh, the top five players I feel from Super Rugby. It was tough to choose these five, so please I'd like your opinions down below. Who you feel should have been added, who you feel should have been removed, any additional the negative qualities or good qualities from these players. Please let's discuss this in the comments below. Please subscribe, please share, please like if you enjoy these videos. And yeah, let's continue to enjoy this great season of rugby and just getting me more and more excited for the end of year tour and the World Cup next year. Let's get into it. So first up, it's pretty obvious, Fafti Pack. I think he's, it's amazing to see him back in the the box structures. I know for I know last year we felt he probably wasn't going to join a game, so it's good to see and it shows you Rossi's vision. I know there's been a couple of discussions online about is it fair to give all the credit to Rossi? The major thing he's done is just be allowed to bring players overseas, which is something that I feel credit to him for being able to push to require that versus uh, previous box players like Alice Hill not being able to do it, where they were much more forceful on local players. And there is a lot of credit to local players pushing local talent and keeping that way. But unfortunately, when you're in this modern and challenging world, you've got to use every talent we have at our disposal. And this is the climate of South African rugby. So on the side, I think the biggest benefits of him really is that amazing fast ball this season, consistency, something that I actually didn't see in the previous years of the box. So it's good to see his consistency. I still feel sometimes he's a little niggly, but I'll get to that now. Um, I think the biggest, the, there's two major factors that really make him potent. He, um, he is amazingly fast ball, and secondly, his ability to uh, be a, a nuisance and a pain for opposing teams on scrummages and on rucks. If you look at him, he's always bothering the scrum off for the opposing team, slowing their ball down, questioning their attack, and also very tactically, in my opinion, if you wait, see how he dictates to Hunter Pollard and the rest of the back line, how to defensively line up. So tactically, he's a genius in that front. I think he really has the ability to slow their team down and ensure our defensive structures are stronger. And I think one of the biggest factors helping us actually keep um, have such a decent defensive record this super this rugby championship. Something that we've actually heard been, I think, has been improving over the season as the team grows in confidence with Fuff helping in that regard. I think, um, yeah, I think so. That's so two of my major factors. I like the other thing that he really, really does well is he has the ability to um, be everywhere. I don't know how he does it, but he becomes a beautiful um, floating back uh, defensive player on that front also. And his, his defensive skills are on point there too. So he's not only a great scrum off in the sense of give, giving us attacking ball, but also a beautifully defensive master, mastermind. So that's where I put him in that position. And that's why I chose him as, uh, as one of my top five. Next, we move on to Malcolm Mosk. Malcolm Mosk, the, what a season. He is showing why he is the choice, choice number two. What a season for him. Amazing tackle stats. Maybe not as good as Peter Steff, but Peter Steff pulled a rabbit out of hat this season. I don't know what he's doing, but he's also amazing. Uh, but lineouts are pretty good. He's a very solid uh, uh, scrummager, ensuring that the scrum stays stable. We've definitely had very good scrums this season, and I think he's a big part of it. His meters made in running and tackling are insane. The guy is definitely probably our biggest upfront attack when it comes to it, and ball stealing, he has grown leaps and bounds. The guy is, they, every team fears him, and you can see it even when I was at the rugby game this weekend. You could just hear, even the New Zealand guys were like, damn, I hope I wish Malcolm Marks went off, or, 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 or goes off. So really, really doing well in that, uh, in that position. He's defensively also very strong, ensuring that his, he's always, he protects his pillars very well, and also has the ability, has, has a, when he tackles, he tackles back from the, behind the advantage line. So really good season for him. I think his high points are definitely his ball stealing and his ability and his, uh, his strong runs. He really makes some beautiful runs and, he re and f the opposing team fears him when he has the ball. Great opportunities and normally it takes two defenders to take him down. Always opening a channel for us. So that's my Malcolm. I feel Malcolm Marks definitely deserves to stop a position in the top five. Next, I want to move into Vinny LaRue. So yeah, Vinny LaRue, I think the biggest thing there is X Factor. He's really just been a beautiful, uh, has the ability to inject pace into the game. He seems to have the ability to play uh, Mapimpi, uh, Laramapu, and even Dianti into beautiful space. I do think he doesn't really know how to put Colby into space yet. If you look at the previous games, he hasn't really been able to give Colby the kind of room. Colby seems to make his own space. I don't know if they still have to bajal like the other players have. He has a less time with uh, Vili, so I think they'll grow. But uh, uh, I think they need to realize that Colby needs a little bit more of a... Uh, he needs the ball a little earlier. He, his magic feet will help him there. Whereas Dianti and Mapimpi um, are stronger runners and can inject pace quickly. 
and don't really need the space when getting the ball. So they seem to have trained well there, and Villarreal is a mastermind in giving the ball in the right place. So I think that gives, uh, and also his leadership in the back three has made uh, probably one of our most potent back, potent back threes we've had in many years. And a good thing to see considering the quality of back threes in the rest of the tournament, especially from teams like Argentina and New Zealand. I think it's a, an essential quality that we need to build on for the World Cup. So for, uh, Villarreal definitely deserves his top star there, and that's my major reasons why. Next, we move on to Pirudianti, the find of the season. He is the next Brian Abana, as many are saying. Top try scorer of the, of the season in the Rugby Championship. Real quality runner. Knows where to find the ball. His probably his only weakness is uh, his, uh, he has a little bit of a, a, a tendency to stray in when the, ball, when, when, the, when the ball's in the center. He doesn't really uh, keep his channel very well. He has improved greatly from the beginning of the season. If you watch the first few games against uh, England and even the first few games in the Rugby Championship, compared to now, he's really coming into his own and I can't wait to see what this guy develops in the, in the season. What a runner. And he also has an exceptionally strong uh, run, even against the greatest players you saw against the, in this last week and week, previous weeks. He really knows how to make sure that he gets the ball in space and puts himself in the right place for the support channel. So the, 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 the back line, they're really, really exciting. And then Sia Khaleesi is my last pick. Sia Khaleesi has had a stunning season as captain, and I give him all the credit where credit is due. He really has had ability to, to, to bring up the, the vibe in the team. The team culture is strong, and I think that's a big part to him. I do question some of his decisions throughout the season, as I've said, but I mean, that's the you can't get everything right. So, But overall, I think the team culture, the ability to keep a team when you're 23 points behind in the, in the in England test in the beginning and still keep them fighting and pushing forward. And even in these games, this rugby championship, coming back for a lead shows you the quality of the leader he is. He really knows how to get the guys to want this and need this and build together as a team, something that you, you want from a captain. So what a great season from him. On top of that, his running, he has some of the best runs of this rugby championship. If you can look at, even in the game against New Zealand last week, Australia the week before, he, uh, he really has the ability to get the ball in some great space. And that try with a period, uh, with Damon Islander is exactly what I'm talking about. He is beautifully good at that and improving his uh, pop game every day. So that is good to see. And I think he's just growing from strength to strength. I can't wait to see what he does in the next year and two years. So yeah, those are my top flag, top players of the season, of the Rugby Championship. I think there are many more. Some honourable mentions of players I would have loved to bring in but just couldn't is Stephen Kitzhoff. What a scrummager. He, you can see the whole South African scrum change when he comes onto the field. And a ball stealer of note. You cannot pull him off. He like plants roots into a ground when he tries to steal the ball. So what a player. And then Peter Steftatoy. Hats off to him. Playing out of position for the Rugby Championship, many people questioned it, and somehow he has not only owned the position, but dominated it, becoming an amazing tackler to boot, and really ensuring that he's cementing his place in that position, which is a lot, which surprised me quite heavy. I thought it was a mistake to bring him there. I was proved wrong by the powers that be, so well done to Peter Steff, continue tackling like a demon, playing in the loose play, and really being a, a nuisance to the opposing teams. Well done to everybody. But yeah, I think all the only, the biggest the best person to win here is the South African public. What a team we can support and follow through. And I just can't wait for the, the in, in, year end tour to see how some more players can grow into their own. And it's so great to have a year where it's it was tough to choose five out of 15. I still probably could, I could make a top 15 team and I'd still have a hard time picking. That is what we want from our, our rugby teams. And I'm really, really proud to say that, I, that, that it's good to see. I will bring out a video just covering some of the best uh, best players from the other teams, so please look out for that. Please subscribe, please share. And yeah, let's chat down below on, on what you feel uh, I have missed or players I think I should have given more credit to. Let's let's discuss it. Thanks guys and please enjoy. I'll chat I'll bring out more videos before the, the European tour. Cheers.